Okay, we should be live. Hello, my name is Karen Kagg and I'm a licensed Reiki master teacher with the International Center for Reiki Training. And this is our LRMT Spotlight where I talk with one of my fellow LRMTs to find out a little bit more about them and to get a tip for you guys because the main purpose for the International Center for Reiki Training is to offer support for Reiki practitioners and teachers. And so today I have Shelly Kamemeyer, one of my favorite people. And uh, hello, Shelly. Hi, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad that you could join us today because we're going to talk about Reiki and money. And this one is near and dear to my heart because personally I have struggled a lot with, uh, with abundance issues, I guess you could say. So. Um, and we were talking about, you have a couple of books you're going to recommend as well, but do you want to give us a little background about? Sure. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I really believe that, uh, abundant money is, and obviously energy, we all know that, and that we create that kind of flow based on our feelings of self-worth. And so the feelings that if, so many Reiki people, I mean, I know people in other fields too, but I have, I'm more familiar with Reiki, have feelings, uh, have had trauma in their past. And so because of that trauma, they, they, are, they have trouble letting go of the, the feelings of not deserving money. And then there's the whole idea, I mean, and then on top of that, there's a whole idea that Reiki is a gift from the universe to us. And so why would we charge for that? And so there's a whole lot of different layers of um, abundance. And I, I'm not just talking about cash. I'm talking about any kind of abundance yeah. flowing to you. It And money is just one of those things. So um, I, I've done a lot of work around it. I've... Um, followed several uh, money or abundance coaches um, and I've and but but then I kind of fall back on something I felt was important years and years ago and that is the more you give away the more you get uh. and so um, Wait, say that again the more you give away the more you get yeah, the universe provides more. So back when Mike and I first got married, Mike is also a Reiki master, but when he and I first got married, we were struggling financially and um, really struggling. And one day I woke up and I said, here's the answer. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, oh, really? I don't know about that. And I said, we're going to start giving money away. We're going to give lots of money away. And every time we got paid, we would donate to the food bank, every, we would donate to, and I think that the universe, like, so if we were to give food to the food bank, we'd have plenty of food. But when I decided to start giving money, money to different organizations, like, um, like, a, like children's organizations mm -hmm. or it, it didn't matter what it was. I was writing checks all the time. And, and sometimes it was like, that was our last dollar. And I would still write the check. And what, what happened then is things like Mike would have an unexpected sale in his, and his, or get a bonus, or um, I would get a, a surprising bonus at my work. Like, the more money we gave out, the more kind of flowed in. And so that's really, um, I mean, you have to do all the other stuff. You have to keep track of what you're spending. You have to keep track of, you know, and you have to also make sure that you aren't spending money on things that aren't important to you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's, there's like all these layers of that, but really I think, go ahead. No, so it's like conscious spending, but it sounds like you, you kind of get in the flow of like, I'm letting the, I'm, I know that that money is flowing through me. And so it's okay. I'm spending, I'm not wasting money because I'm spending consciously on what I need and not wasting, but, but I'm also not living in fear of, of right. if I give right. this to St. Jude's hospital, are we going to starve next week? I mean, so you're, yeah. 
Exactly. And, and so like I, when I work with clients and I've got them on the table and I'm checking their root chakras and they're, you know, it doesn't matter what, what income level they are. A lot of people have worries about abundance. I had a client one time where I was like, so when are you going to feel like you can work less and enjoy your life more? And he was like, well, when I have enough money in the bank. And I said, how much money is enough money in the bank? Two million dollars. And I was like, if I, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, two million dollars? And, and I mean, so everybody's got a different level of, of security. You know, security. Two million. And I was, I, so, but you know, I, and I often say to people, do you really think that your family or your friends are going to let you live under a bridge and eat cat food? Like, it's not going to happen. You're, you know, something's going to change. Something's going to shift. You're going to, you're going to receive what you need. The universe is going to take care of you. You have to believe that. And the more you believe that, the more it happens. Just as you said that, I felt myself kind of go, oh, yeah, uh -huh. It's, it's, it's an energetic shift that, that takes place when you shift that thinking. I felt it in my body even. Uh, and so for, for me, and is this true? Would you agree that it's, it's something you, at the beginning you have to, cause I'm still at the beginning of this journey uh, that you have to just keep reminding yourself. Like I just did, like- I still yeah. have to remind myself. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. I mean, there are days that I still have to remind myself. Then, you know, but- most of the time now I'm, I'm kind of like in the flow, but you know, also it's, it's about knowing that you deserve this, that you are worthy of it. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I got a call or I got an email one time from somebody, I hadn't been a licensed teacher very long and he was appalled that we were charging for Reiki classes. And he, his idea was that I should get quit I should get a, this was a direct quote, get a real job. And then I could teach Reiki for free in my spare time. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow. Okay. Um, I'm probably not the right teacher for you. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure you'll find the right person just for you. Yeah. But, um, you know, it was like, there's not even any point in, in arguing with, people about what you feel like you're worth. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the other thing that um, I, I just recently learned is your fees for a, like for sessions or whatever are should not be decided by committee. Like you don't ask everybody, you know, what do you think I should charge because everybody's got their own money blocks their own history. The right people will come to you if you believe that you deserve uh, the right pe you know, pe people to come. And you know, I, I strongly believe that the more people um, that come to you and that pay you that can afford it and they get more value out of it. They, the more they, you know, and it's just like, I don't know fancy shoes. I don't, they're not my thing, but you know, people think they're, you know, people spend lots of money on shoes or purses or whatever. And, and that's not my thing. Right. Crystals, crystals <laughs> is a whole other story where I have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's what we, it's just what we value. That's, that's true. Um, and and, and I'm glad you brought that up. Like people have money, like the things that I spend money on, I want. And the thing that helped me the most with charging, because I felt like, oh, you know, I wanted to, to help people, you know, like maybe they don't have money. And well, first of all, that I slowly realized, like, well, how do I know what they've got? You know? And right. the second thing was um, something Dr. Eric Pearl said to me about reconnective healing. He said, you've got to charge. He said, if you don't charge, if there's not an energetic exchange there, he said, they may not receive the healing. And I thought that really clicked for me because I thought like if I went for a massage and I don't have a lot of money, but if I went for a massage and somebody said, oh, come on, Karen, I'll just give you a, a free massage. 
I would feel weird. Mm -hmm. And I know that there would be a part of me like I don't deserve to receive this. So, but when I pay for a massage, I pay the money, I get on the table and I like, give me all the massage because I paid for it. I deserve it. You know, and so that that frees people up. There's not some weird power over, you know. Yeah. And, and and you know, I and I I mean, I think that that it's important for us as Reiki practitioners or entrepreneurs of any kind to to truly you know, once we have the money that we want, then you can make choices of how you want to give. Like it might be that you want to give, you know, pay for somebody to go have a massage or somebody that, you know, um, you know whatever it is, like in, instead of trying to get something for free or trade, because I'm not a big trade person, is the more I I. I'm willing to pay for it. And then I know that people are willing to pay me. Yeah. It's just a, it's, it's everything I'm hearing you say. It's like, it's just staying in the flow, the flow of it. Yeah, stay in the flow. So what kind of work, because I think you're right. What kind of work can we do on ourselves to get past the, I don't deserve it. That was a big problem for me. So books or anything that you can recommend. Okay. So first of all, there's self reiki Yeah. Just remember that one. That's the one. That's probably the biggest one. Um, I've read some great books um, and I'm ha happy to share them. One of them I'm going to hold up here is uh, Earn, Save, Spend, Give. And it's written by a woman by the name of Denise Hughes. And she's amazing. I've met her. Earn, Save, Spend, Give. Four things to do. Earn, Save, Spend, Give. Yeah. You're right. right how to make it all work okay then um there's this one uh overcoming under earning which is another brilliant book oh i love it barbara, barbara stanny i actually taught a um, mentor or i taught a class about this uh a few years ago i kind of forgot i'd done that till we were talking about this today. maybe you should do it again i think i would take that again. And then this one, um, I'm just going to clarify that it's got not it's, it's got a bad word in it. Well, not bad word, but get rich, lucky bitch. By <laughs> get and, rich. and she um, and she does she has some exercises in there, like um, forgiveness uh, exercises, like forgiving yourself for old money mistakes. Like, so say you think, oh, I can't, I I just got a tax refund, but every time I get money, I blow it. Well, no, you may have in the past, but you don't have to now. And this, this is a good one to help reprogram your, your um, thought process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And self-reiki and self-reiki and self -reiki. Self -reiki. <laughs> and also some more self-reiki. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see. Self-reiki is the key. I'm checking our, to see if you guys have any questions, please post them below. I'm just checking really quickly to see if you have any questions for Shelly about Reiki and money. Um, oh, good. Great title. They liked that Get Rich Lucky Bitch. <laughs> that was a great, great book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I see lots of comments, but no, I don't see any specific questions just yet. So type them down there. Let me just say that if you are catching this on the replay, because many people do, and you have a, a question for Shelly, please just type it down in there. We'll both go back and check for comments and questions. And um, I'm sure Shelly would be happy to, in all of her spare time, <laughs> run back and check those comments now. Um, but we will, and uh, we'd be happy to, to answer your questions. And in the meantime, Go on over to www.innercompass.com. That's uh, Shelly and Mike's website. Reiki. Intercompass huh? Reiki. Oh, Inter I'm sorry. I said it wrong. Intercompass Reiki. I Don't listen to what I say. Never listen to what I say. Just look what I typed. So below the, the video, you'll see her, her contact information. And I'm sure that they would both be super happy to have you as clients or as students. They're wonderful teachers. So um, Shelly, thank you. Thank you for sharing that information. Can I just add one thing? Please. So the, the one thing that I think that's really important is that uh, as the majority of people doing Reiki, and I'm not 
trying to exclude anybody, but the majority of people that are doing Reiki are women. Mm -hmm. And we all kind of, and, and, and I'm not trying to generalize, but I've seen over the years that it's women that kind of have this block more than women, more than men. Um, and so I really think that it's the women that can change the world. So if we don't, if we have the money to do it, to make those donations or or run those organizations that help people, um, the world will be a much better place. Oh, I'm so glad you added that because that's that's key. That's important. That and that was a big part of what I was trying. I think I've overcome most of that. But I had the idea of because I grew up poor and I looked at rich people. Especially I went to a private college in Texas that was like the joke is like the millionaires in Texas send their students to. TCU and the billionaires sent them to SMU and that's where I went to college and I thought oh you know I had all this resentment and I thought that money was maybe a bad thing because I was like jealous I didn't have it you know and it took a long time for me to come to that realization of what you just said is like you can do good things with money yeah you can change the world with a bad money. person money is not evil it's what people do with it mm -hmm. and so that we can change it yeah it's up to yeah. us. Because women, women spend money on different things. Not just shoes and purses either. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lots of crystals. <laughs> crystals. You do a lot with the crystal. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, thank you for that. That's, that's, that's genius. All right. So, again, if you have any questions, please post them below. I'm still checking to see exactly. You're getting a lot of uh, absolutely, exactly. Yeah. Lots of good comments. So yeah, Shelly, I think I'd like you to do that class again. That might be a good, a good that would idea. Be fun. I will do that class again. I'll do it online so that I can get every, Ooh, so anybody yeah. that wants to do it can, can do yeah. it. Yeah. Because we need that, especially again, not, not bashing men and, and there are men with, with money issues as well. But I think that women especially need empowerment in that area. So yeah, well, I'm married to a man who is, doesn't have those issues. So it's, it's interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. My brother doesn't have those issues. I remember talking with him about like, do you struggle with feeling like you? And he's like, no. He said, I've always felt like I deserve that. <laughs> I mean, if we had the same childhood and he's like, nope, bring nope. it. Bring yeah. It. And then, yeah. 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 So, so that's, an, yeah. Hmm. I feel a blog post about this coming on. Yeah. It's, it's a conversation we need to have. Yeah. That we need to do more, more with. So, yeah. And you know, the whole, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of layers to this. So, yeah. Well, so with that in mind, you know, anybody that's watching this, if you're, if you're beating yourself up about like, oh, how will I ever get through this? It's layers and you heal layer by layer and just keep moving forward. And it's like um, an artichoke, not an onion. Doesn't need to make you cry. Just <laughs> pull up it and get to the heart. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's an artichoke, not an onion. It's not supposed to make you cry. You're just supposed to peel it back to get to the heart. I love that. Shelly and I love you. Thank you so much for, for doing this with us today. It was fun. It was great. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.